Hi, welcome to a, another video. I noticed we had a load of new subscribers this morning. So, um, hello, welcome to our channel. My name is Emily. My daughter's name is Rosie. And um, our channel is all about sharing homeschooling ideas as well as um, our journey into veganism and trying to be a bit more eco-friendly and using gentle attachment pairing things. I believe we're kind of a blog. I'm not sure. We're not all we're not all polished, we are real life, there's none of this, she doesn't sit perfectly still, she does watch some television, um, we're by no means perfect and the method we use and how we use it works for us and um, most of the time, it doesn't always work for us, but most of the time, um, Rosie likes having things on her table, she likes having shelf work, she likes having sheets. She likes working through workbooks. She also likes watching documentaries. So she's the, the amount of things that she likes to learn through. Um, we've got quite an eclectic approach to how we're doing this. Um, I do want to kind of follow the national curriculum, but I don't. Um, I want her to learn what I think is actually necessary in life and not everything they have to know. So we will be learning general stuff. I just, I've washed my hair and now it's... <laughs> Um, yes, so um, the, she's watching telly right now. We've been doing our farm theme, so she watched Babe earlier, and um, we've been out most of the week, so we are now, we're having a chill out afternoon. So she's being allowed some television. She loves How to Train Your Dragons, so that's what she's watching right now. Um, so I can do a video as well. So welcome to our channel. I hope you find our content um, relevant, helpful. Um, do go back and look a bit earlier at our Under the Sea unit. That was a really, really great one to do. I really, really enjoyed doing that with her. And I really, really enjoyed doing, what's the other one we did? Uh, Rainforest, I think we did as well. They were big immersive projects. They're great for the little ones. They're really, really great for preschool age. They're what they would do in school with them. Um, as well because what I, why I do them is because I didn't want my little girl to miss out on the big displays they would have in school because we just don't have space for them so we basically just turn our living room into each project so um, yeah if you want ideas for that we certainly are into the big immersive projects we're not doing one another one for a little while because we're going to do two weeks in science next um, but I've got a space and maybe a Wild West theme coming up as well that we're going to do. Uh, I don't plan much further ahead than about four to six weeks. We are of the six weeks on, one week off, although we are struggling to do six weeks. So we're tending to do five weeks and then one week off. Um, but it's what works for you. So um, if, you're, if your child is under five and they're not even compulsory school age yet, but you're keen to get them... Make use of the fact that they're sponges. You want them to, you don't want to just wait and stuff. And you know they love playing, but you also know they love learning. Then um, definitely look out for toddler learning binder videos and shelf work videos. They're very helpful too. But for now, this is the tail end of our farm theme. So I'll show you what we got up to today. And uh, yeah. So this is, does it grow under the ground, on the ground, on a bush or on a tree? So I'm going to talk Reggie through it. Right, turnips, baby, don't grow on a bush. They grow under the ground. So eventually, like when we next do this project. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Lemons. Do you remember where we said the other day lemons yeah. came from? Yeah. On a... A tree. Lemons grow on trees. That's where we get lemon trees. Although if you keep them small, they are bushes, I suppose. That's a cauliflower. Do you think that grows under the ground or on the ground? How would you know it was a cauliflower? Yeah, a bush. It doesn't grow on a bush, baby. On the ground? On the ground, yes. Why do this grows on the ground? Now, we grew these last year. We grew potatoes last year. So where do potatoes grow? Could you see them when we grew them or were they under the ground? They were, under the they were under the ground. We had to tip them out, didn't we, and search for them in the soil. What have you got next? Blackberries. Where the blackberries go? Well, where does Mummy pick them in the back garden? Remember? <laughs> We've got a few blackberry vines in the back garden. Yeah, off of a bush. So this is what she's going to do. I've just, I've made this. I've made this myself. It's a very simple drawing. Orange. Laminated it. An orange. Put that on the back. Orange. We're going back to a few basics for orange a couple of new people who are asking some questions. 
So oh, we're just going to do this see. and then we're going to do her other shelf work this morning and then we're going to have some breakfast. What's so that? this sheet is an extension of one we did the other day. So if I pull the one we did the other day out, oh. where's we do? Is a... Uh, Okay, so these are smaller numbers, and the one Rosie's got today are bigger numbers. So Rosie's got to count higher. And there's also a 10 there, so she needs to find the 1 and the 0 to make the 10. So where are you going to start? And you just count them and then put the magnetic where's number down. Where's 1? Where's 1? There is no 1, baby. There's a spare box. If you want to, you can start with the bigger animals. I want to. So if you look, the horses are bigger, so there's 1, one two, 2, 3. So you need to put the 3 in there. Is that a three? Seven. So now she's got to count higher. I've got, I've got one in this box. You found it? There we go. There's three girls again. Okay. These girls again. Now the cows are the next biggest, so... One, two, three, four. She put the four in the end box. Me! Oh, no, I've got someone stuck to me. Oh. It's because he's magnetic, baby. We're going to learn all about that next week when we do our science. What? Please. Put your four in then. And then we can count our piggies. Don't peel that off. We can count our piggies. So then the next biggest. One, One. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done! Eight! Yeah. I don't think they were the next biggest actually. They just look like they're the next biggest drawn. I think the birds were the next biggest. Oh yeah. One. Put the eight there. That's eight though. There are eight of them. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. You get the idea. Okay. Uh, this activity is we've got two different pens, haven't we, baby? And what Rosie's going to do, she's going to sort through this little tray of animals and she's going to put all the farm animals in this side and she's going to put all the not farm animals in this side. So, squirrel, farm or not farm? So which side does it need to go? Farm or not farm? No. Okay, Rosie's doing it though, I'm not doing it for you. I always seem to get her need to get her nose at the moment. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, Alright. Rosie, pick another animal. Pick another animal out of the box, baby. Okay. Your listening skills aren't very good at the moment, are they? Can you use your ears, please? No, that's the farm side. That's it. So what's the animal's that? He is a leopard. Does he belong on the farm or does he belong on the non-farm side? I belong on a farm. Really? My father is on this side, so I, so we, I have the feeling she's not concentrating properly this morning. So we can protect her. So well, this can, is why homeschooling is flexible. So we can protect her. Leopards don't belong on farms, baby. But I'm in the no side. Put him in the, not the farm. I'm in the no side. What about the uh, keep the a donkey? Does a donkey go in the farm side or not farm side? I go in the farm side. This could take a while because she's going to talk to each and every one of them and give them a voice and probably a name. So we're going to gym shortly. So I'll take a picture when she's finished. But yeah, general idea, whatever you've got to work with, whether it's lolly stick fences, Lego, Duplo, whatever, just build two areas, farm, not farm, so they can sort their animals. I So, I don't know how long this is going to last, but she's got one house, two houses, three houses. It's up to her. She wants to do it. We don't have a wolf, but she's probably going to spend the rest of the day. I'm the wolf! I'm the wolf! Okay, this little red dog's the wolf. Reenacting the three little pig story. <clears throat> um, so, uh, it's up to her which house is the stick, which one's the, the straw, and all that kind of stuff. So this is, um... You're supposed to... Yes. Now I'm going to have fun getting her out of the house in about 15 minutes. <laughs> we have had a busy week that so far. That that cock -doodle. I know, the duck goes cock a doodle doo So today we are, and I'm gutted it's suddenly turned sunny now, we are resting today. Uh, we've been at gym all morning, 
um, that Rosie has checked her hen coop. She has done her horses. We bought the Peter Rabbit magazine because rabbits. We're doing what grows on a farm. So this is perfect because Peter Rabbit steals things off Mr. McGregor. So I can say to Rosie, well, Mr. McGregor is a farmer. So what does Peter Rabbit steal? And he goes through and she'll tell me whether it's carrots or radishes and stuff like that. She's obsessed with the singing mice. She's watching Babe because it's based on a farm. So we are trying to keep our screen time and television time related. Uh, we still need to put our chicken on our board today, don't we? But otherwise, we've done our three little pigs. We've done our... Is it a zoo or a farm? Is it a farm animal or not a farm animal? And you've done your sheets this morning, haven't you? You've got one more sheet to do with Daddy tomorrow. And yeah, we'll be wrapping this theme up soon. There were other things I wanted to do, like I did want to do an animal washing station with Rosie. I wanted to get some pigs or some animals dirty and then Rosie clean them with a toothbrush or something but the weather's been horrible and I'd rather do that outside so if daddy fancies that tomorrow he might do that tomorrow um other things we were gonna do I've got all my ideas on my sheet in the front of the folder and we don't always get all of them done another one was if she had any stuffed toy farm animals we've got some hoops that you take to the pool with you we were gonna throw them and see if we could do a hoopla over her animals as well uh, her farm animals um but we haven't got round to that yet and we might not um, I want to give her a day off on Saturday before we start science on Sunday so we will be notebooking tomorrow and we are out all of tomorrow afternoon visiting some friends so yeah this was our farm theme this video was a little longer than I intended because of the intro um, but I hope it was useful and answered any immediate questions that people who don't want to scroll all the way back to the beginning of our channel and watch um, she was going to watch a movie this afternoon and um, I was going to jump in the bath and um, her new skill at the moment is she can actually get into the bath by herself. So she stripped herself off and jumped in my bath. So um, yeah, we did a little bit of early science work because we experimented with what floated, what sunk and then we have these ball, ball pit balls that we play with in the bath and we held them down and watched them pop up. So yeah. <laughs> so... I don't think we're going to do anything more today on the farm theme. I think Daddy might wrap everything up with her tomorrow. Notebooking, if you look at yesterday's video um, or the last video, um, that's the sort of thing that will go in her notebooks. I might just cut those out of her adventure book and stick them in. If she will, otherwise, I might say if she'll just redo them. Um, so I'll post a video on Saturday now of um, my prep for science week so you can see what it is and for anybody I can see it you're wondering I did have an operation on my eye I'm not I'm not being beaten honestly I had an operation on a little operation on my eye and um, it's still healing so um, yes and like most of you I am probably always gonna look tired so um, yes I hope you're enjoying our videos if you did please give it a big thumbs up and for now it's Tatar from me and Tatar from the Rosie Bear